The new diesel engine OM651 fascinates above all by its innovative control system. Gear wheels at the back drive the vehicle instead of chains at the front. The advantages? Higher revolutions are possible with less wear and weight. Of course, with a new engine, the repair process also changes, and this specifically concerns you in the workshop. Therefore, we went to the birthplace of the OM651 to the engine development plant in Stuttgart onto Turkheim. There, we borrowed an engine to show you how to set the camshaft and the Lanchester shaft. We've exposed the rear of the engine for you so that you can see more clearly. Before you start, lay out the following tools. Four tools are made especially for the OM651. First, turn the piston of the first cylinder to the OT position. For this, you'll need one of the special tools. Connect it to the crankshaft and then, with a ratchet, turn only in the direction of the engine rotation. Otherwise, the timing chain could slip off and that would result in engine damage. When the piston is at the position marked OT, the points of the camshaft must be aligned with the mark on the bearing cap. Then everything would be okay. We want to show you, however, what to do if the camshafts are twisted. We have prepared this worst case scenario for you. First, unscrew and remove the bearing cap of the right camshaft. There, everything was okay. Important, be sure to mark the bearing caps. They have a different shape and therefore may not be exchanged. Now the special tools are used again. Mount the first hole device, free of tension, on the right camshaft where the bearing cap was installed. The screws remain the same. The left camshaft is next. Loosen the first screw, careful, left hand thread. Then with an open end wrench, bring the distorted camshaft into the right position. Now you can also substitute the camshaft bearing cap with the hole device. The left camshaft is automatically set with that. Tighten the screw in the camshaft sprocket again for the first step with 55 Newton meters. Remember, as before, left hand thread. And for the second step, turn 90 degrees. With that done, remove the hole devices and substitute with the left and right bearing cap. Tighten the screws with a torque of 9 Newton meters. Done. You see the camshafts of the engine are once more aligned precisely. The second example. Let's imagine you've repaired the crankshaft assembly of the OM651. Then you must set the Lanchester shaft on the underside of the engine. To better view this, we turn the engine over. The piston of the first cylinder must be at the OT position once again. Then check the position of the Lanchester shaft. If the marks are aligned, as in our case, then everything is okay. If not, the same settings are necessary as on the engine's top side, only the whole device is different. Therefore, we demonstrate this briefly to you. Mount the whole device on both Lanchester shafts.
Then with the crankshaft, move them together. Insert the pin and done.